All right, so we got 42 Doug, and uh, apparently, you know, he didn't got into a little altercation in Vegas with a, uh, I don't know who it was with, they was probably like some little off brands or like, you know, just some people trying to get some clout or some fame or whatever the case is. Now, you know, you know how niggas be nowadays, but I'm going to get into this video. Shout out to all subscribers, shout out to new subscribers. I'm going to get into this video, and then I'm going to really bust down for y'all, you know what I mean, and give y'all like my analysis. Only in Vegas. This is like the full person we don't see get arrested, y'all. In the casino. Fight on that drunk punk shit. So there go 42 Doug, you know, coming out the cut. And I don't mean to just pause the video, like, you know what I mean? But it just baffles me, you know, that they in Vegas, you know, I'm sure it's a bunch of beautiful women walking around, you understand me? I'm sure, you know, it's just a bunch of other things that they could be doing besides trying to worry about another man, you know? That's crazy to me. It don't make no sense. But I'm going to keep it lit. You see 42 Doug security. Now we already know if you don't if you ain't familiar with Vegas and they laws, it's, it's open carry out there. You know what I mean? So they a little lenient when it comes to like these firearms and this, that, and the third. So what what blows my mind is, you know, they in there acting tough. Whoever these other cats is on on this side, they in there acting tough and or acting like, you know, uh they probably all got something to go home to or something to lose. You know what I mean? But they in there acting as if they don't got nothing to lose. And that's you know, that's crazy. So but I'm gonna keep it lit, like I said. Only in Vegas. This is like the full person we don't see get arrested, y'all. In the casino. Fight on that drunk punk shit. You seen dude in the black though? If you peep dude in the black, right? When they start the other when the other niggas start trying to like approach, he kinda like got up out of there. I ain't gonna lie. Like I ain't trying to just point out the ignorance. Cause it's really, it's really this video really deeper than that. Cause it's, it's a whole lot going on. And yeah, I'm gonna keep it lit. <laughs> Hey, 42 Doug, hella little. Like, I wonder what, how tall is he? We're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to look that up. But god damn, he was, he was, he was short. You know what I mean? Uh, at the same time, right? You know what's a trip about this video is, you know, niggas. Niggas in there trying to show out or do whatever they was trying to do. It just don't make no sense. Like, what was, what, what, which, what, what y'all wanted to do? Say y'all have a video or have a story to tell somebody, oh, I got into it with the rapper or what? You know what I mean? I, I don't understand niggas, you know, especially when you in Vegas and it, I'm sure it's a bunch of females walking around. Y'all in the casino. Uh, I don't know if it was some special event that was going on out there because it seemed like it was thick out there, you know, but at the same time, it just don't make no sense why these cats is worried about these cats and then y'all look stupid man y'all in there putting on this uh you know this display of ignorance in front of these other people who who already you know who used to it they they just waiting for something like that to go down like yeah look at them they about to fight and they about to act stupid you know 
And it's a saying, you know, they always, it's a saying, it's crazy, because the saying is, you know, black people can't get together or they can't have nothing, you know what I mean? And this is like, I don't want to say this is like an example of that, but look, it, it's kind of, it is, though, you know what I mean? If you think about it, it's like, they in there, you know what I mean? Um... And then if if you would if y'all would have got into it right if y'all decided if, if say like if uh, forty two Doug just had some torpedoes on this on this team at for the moment you know what I mean and I'm sure he got his close his you know his day ones around him so he don't look at them like that like just send offs you know what I mean so but just imagine if he did right and y'all got into a little fight or altercation in the middle of the casino and then you went to jail in Vegas. Now you in now you in casino jail down there. What you gonna be? What you down there doing though? I mean, you probably got money to bail out, but that's besides the point, because it's gonna take a little bit of time. You ain't just getting right out. You about to go through the process. You already know how I go. So, you, what you gonna be in there like? Yeah, we got to do it. Forty two Doug, we gay. You know what I mean? No disrespect to like. That's no disrespect to like the LGBT community. You know what I mean? Or whatever the case is. You know, for for like YouTube purposes, because you know how they be acting. But niggas be weird like. It's like, I don't understand niggas. Like, I don't understand niggas. And then the lady, you heard the lady on the video. She like, this her fourth, sixth fight she didn't see. Or first sixth person she didn't see that and went to jail out there. You know, acting ignorant. When you could have tried to bump you some. That ain't player. Being in there with all this penta. If you a type of person that drink, right? And you get drunk and you get aggressive. Don't go out. Or, or just don't drink, nigga. No, you know. That's weird. Like, it's just weird for you to go out and try to ruin everybody else's good time. But you weren't going to do that in Vegas, for sure. Because, they, you know, that's a tourism spot. So, they're going to keep it lit. The show must go on. So, you would have went to jail, you know, been in there looking stupid with a story to tell to some female, probably. You know, never know. I don't even know what, to, what what's the outcome. It's like, what do niggas be thinking when, when you out there off these liquor and you, you know, call yourself being macho? Because you already know, like, it be niggas in the cut, right? When when you, when you doing all this and you and you uh acting you know whatever y'all screaming and it's everybody going rah 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 it be niggas in the cut like yeah okay this nigga you know just watching you know watching everything like okay I see him he he hard he, he trying to knock somebody out or whatever the case is but you know niggas just be in the cut man with their eyes wide open head on the swivel and you know ready to you know whatever but that's why I be like why you know forty two Doug man he worked a lot of chicken man it's a lot of uh, investors involved in him, so it's like, what you think about to happen? Y'all niggas be crazy, like, but y'all niggas, let me know what y'all think about this video, man. Uh, I just don't understand niggas when, when niggas be in a public setting, you know, making us look bad, you know what I mean? It ain't like we trying to look good for nobody, but we just trying to look good for ourselves, like, you know what I mean? We trying to uphold our standards. Nigga, it ain't about always looking rah rah macho and causing the scene, flipping over tables. Doing this and the third, nigga. Some things can be talked out. For sure. But y'all niggas let me know what y'all think down below in the comment section, man. It's gang. Nigga! Before I explode on one of you bitch ass niggas, nigga!